Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey, welcome back. Since the olden day, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Fend off it. Fend off evil. This brain is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Oh, big part, be strong, friend. I will. Oh, look at this little bow. He's cute. All right, see you later, old man. Woo! I hope you wouldn't like pots. Are there anything in these pots? Can I get, perhaps, a dollar? A rupee? Maybe a rat that I can't use? No dollars? This man is fucking poor. Probably because he spent all his money on novelty jark... Jark shaws. Shark jaws. Sorry, it's, it's been a while since I've had to, um... Do this to, to be the Tim friend man. So uh, it might take me a little bit to be able to speak again. What is up there? What What is? That's a green rupee. That's not very good. That's not a good prize. I don't want that prize. I want to just, I want a blue rupee. Ooh, look at that pirate ship. I like that pirate ship, even though it's implausibly large on the inside. I do like that sail. I, they had to get it tailor-made somewhere. Unless there's... Like, I always love the idea, because pirates probably can't just, like, buy shit or get stuff custom-made, because they probably steal it once, and then the next time they re get refused or they get arrested. Uh, but they had they had to, like, become seamstresses or, or painters to paint their boat and to make that cool two-crossed cutlass sail. Uh... I think that's true. Like, didn't some pirates had to be like seamstresses or, or medics or ah? Oh, look at this fucking island. Look how look how how fucking tranquil is this shit? Except for the giant bird and the pirate ship that's ominously offshore. Like, look how how nice this grass is. All it has to be is these weird little wiggly triangles arranged in in tiny clumps that are very easily demarcated when you cut them down, sort of like Lego grass. And sort of like Lego flowers, too. Oh my god, Wind Waker is just Lego. But how nice. How nice is this place? I love it so much. I, there was a lot of shit given to, uh, to to Wind Waker when it was first coming out because it looked it was so self-shaded and cartoony. And, you know, there's reasons for it being given so much shit, but I'm pretty sure all the people who gave it so much shit uh, don't care anymore because they found different things on the internet to be angry about. Or they've stopped caring about stupid shit like that. But it's so pretty. It's so nice. It's it's so welcoming. I... Guys. I like Wind Waker. Isn't that weird? <gasps> Ooh, a battle! Ooh, the light plays sensually off the Bok Oblin skin. Ah, I forgot how kind of weird... Kind of jangly they walk. I like his little hat. Uh, pat. Oh, he kicked me! I must stab him to death. Is that it? Is that it for him? <gasps> what I get, I get a dollar! Oh, man. Better watch out, fuckers. Now I've got a dollar. I, 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 I was kind of hoping that I would get a joy pendant. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that rock over there. Man, I should check out that rock that I can't do anything with later. Until later, I mean. But, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, nope, it's gone. I got distracted by looking at a rock, and now I can't remember what I was talking about before. Like, this... The the combat is not... It's not hard. Like I said, it's, it's not Dark Souls or anything like that. It's not Bloodborne. Uh, oh, I was hoping for a Joy Pendant, but I don't think I can actually get one until I get the Spoils Bag. Uh, oop! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Oh, she got... I would have, like, broken her arms, ripped the vest if she'd fallen from that height and gotten clung onto by her jacket on a branch. I would have broken that branch. I would have broken her arms. It wouldn't have been good for her. Wow. What's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Look at her hair. Her hair is cute. Oh, that's right. A giant bird came. Miss, Miss Tetra. Look at that dance. Look at that little dance. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd dot dot dot. Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of the mountain. On the top of a mountain, I mean. Well, wasn't that nice of it. I'm sarcastic. I'm not your regular Zelda princess. And she starts walking. 
Well, don't stand there. Let's go. Time to pay our debt to that bird in full. Man, pay your debt in full. That's such a not not a young scamp thing to say. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Sorry, dude. I gotta prance out of here. Well, I'll prance after you. No, I wanted to open the the cool gym and get the the, the dollars and hearts. Oh no, it's a cutscene. This means I can't stop what's happening next. Oh, I do like that she's always followed around by seagulls. Is there ever an explanation for that? Is it just because she's like the incarnation of innocence in this world and so animals don't like avoid her or anything like that? Oh, like this is that's like a legitimately scary bird. Uh, but check it out. This is one of my favorite dumb little parts is that the bird stops like in like here. It's clearly not moving. The bird bird's not going anywhere. It hit an invisible wall. It's not moving anywhere. It's not getting farther away. Oh, Link. Oh, you tried your best. Oh, look at that. Little crazy eyes. <clears throat> Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Now the bird moving. Or is the camera moving? You son of a bitch. Get a text massage. <sighs> Probably another loving text from Julia Friend. Who I love dearly. She tricked me a lot on the day recording Tiffany. That was great. <sighs> What? You want to come with us on our ship? Big nod, Link. Show confidence. And remember, when you shake her hand, grip it with strength. You understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. Boom. Roasted. I know you must fail with her sister having kidnapped and all. Because I've been kidnapped, and that's sort of like my sister getting kidnapped. That doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? <gasps> it's a burden. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, just who are you? Where do you get off butting on someone else's conversation? Please, I mean to say, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And thus, what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Let me hold out my arm in a very rigid way for just a couple seconds. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? All three actual towns of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears and red text, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. Fucking roasted. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. I don't know how to say an ellipses with a silly accent like this. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young friend here. That's incorrect grammar, Mr. Uh, Birdman. Who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? I was watching. I didn't save you, but, uh... Just know that I was there. You would have been fine, even if... I mean, we have not seen Tiny Bucktooth Pirate in the shot before yet, as far as I know. But I, st I remember him, and I love him. Nico? Is his name Nico? God, he's good. Look at his stupid face. Little, little rat whiskers. What a good, what a good, period. Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both of you and friend's sister has made its foul nest to the north, on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Getting a little game showy. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give friend a little help now, would it? I don't need you to tell me that. Even I've worked, etc. But lately I haven't heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave. It's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything. A plate. Tell you what. You come back with something like that, we'll just stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. 
Ah, uh, that bunch. Ah, uh, now I have to go get the shield that was so clearly in my grandma's house. I have to chop down these plants. Oh, it's so easy to chop them down, too. Just like a real sword. Just goes right through them. Oh, look at her little purple hair. Even in this time of distress, she's got a quiet smile on. And now that Arrow's gone, you you kind of have long ears, too. What the fuck? Why didn't the bird take you away? You've got, got long polygonal ears. But even in this time where a, a pirate ship has landed and a bird has stolen my sister, she's still got that smile on her face. She knows that now she'll be the cutest young thing on the island. Man, that was... I don't, I don't know if that was very feminist of me to think that she would be thinking that. Maybe she's just a... Maybe she's just a sociopath. Anyway, next time on Tim Friend, I'll just stare at this, this patio some more. <laughs>